Hello everyone, my name is Pacha and yeah, your eyes don't deceive you, this is not the curse of an Ifrit or a Fata Morgana. We are actually back in Wahat Jamila today, our little yeah, side desert zoo, our little side project zoo that we started all the way back last year with the Arid Animal Pack and back then we got a whole bunch of new African animals and so I des uh, decided to start yeah, an Arabian, um, North African style zoo here out in the, in the desert um, with a bunch of, with all of the animals from that pack as well as other animals like cheetahs, like Nile monitors which we have over there, um, like uh, yeah, rhinos and stuff like that so a whole bunch of animals from the deserts and from the arid regions and then the yeah after the last episode which was the nine monitor episode this uh, uh, this series kind of ended abruptly without any word without any reason and i'm sure a lot of you who are from back there who watched the original series wondered or yeah, what happened to Wahad Jamila and the reason was that I gave this file to a good friend of mine and a, and a great member of the Plant Zoo community named Mr. Gecko and he, you know, he asked if I, he asked if he could do a guest build for me here in Wahad Jamila or I asked him, uh, it's so long ago I don't even know anymore who asked who but yeah, we agreed on that he would do a guest build uh, kind of as a final part of this series and then life happened um, a lot of bunch of real-time stuff a lot of work stuff a lot of uh, private stuff happened and his idea or his project that he wanted to do in Wajamina took longer than expected and of course I, I said he don't have to rush himself he has all the time in the world because I want he I know it was a, a passion project for him and he wanted to give me the best result that he can produce so yeah that is why it took so long that is why um, no episodes and no new videos came out because I couldn't build in this file because Gecko, Mr. Gecko had it um, and I couldn't yeah, access it now I couldn't change anything but now as of I think two weeks ago or, yeah no yeah as of two weeks ago right um, he f actually finished or kind partially finished his build, his guest build here in Wan Jamila and that is what we will look at, at today. We will have a tour of his incredible, really, inc I have to say it again, incredible creation here in this game and I'm so happy that he yeah, was building for me, that he gave me the opportunity to have this in a zoo and to have this on YouTube for you guys so you can see how good he actually is in this game. And I want to give that you all of you give a much a lot of love for him in the comments and say him how yeah how if you like this build how you like it how much you like it, and he deserves all the love in the world and he, I know he really put a lot of work in it and a lot of uh, almost a lot of his sanity he almost went insane with some of the stuff that the game uh, and my zoo file have presented him with so um, yeah he deserves all the love he uh, he can get. This file, as I said, now isn't 100% finished. There is still stuff missing here and there. Um, the main work, main way work is done, and the stuff that isn't done, I will do or I will finish in later episodes. So this means there, yeah, Waha Jamila is back. By basically, uh, there will be more episodes in the future. Now, these episodes will not come after this one. Ne ne next week will not be a Waha Jamila episode. Next week we will be back in Raven Creek, starting on our petting zoo area, which I already promised last week, kinder. But next week it is, it is coming, and after we done that, after we did our petting zoo area, we will jump back into Waha Jamila, and I will later explain in this tour um, what the ideas are and where I want to put them because Gecko, shiki as he is, he basically uh, yeah, forced me to do more stuff here in the zoo so um, we will go come to that later on but yeah as I said we are standing here or well, I didn't say that but as I said now we are standing here in front of the rhino and cheetah habitat as well as the nile monitor habitat and that is where he has started building his Cairo market 
found it 1511 and i also say al already from the outside it looks incredible all the different layers all the different yeah, forms of debris and junk lying around you really feel like you are in cairo or in other, another Egypt egyptian city arabian city and you're entering a market area really cool and um, there are some stuff that i added for example I added the statue and I added the uh, island back here in the background. He didn't finish them, so I just added the climbing frames and the foliage and stuff like that. But we will focus on yeah, Mr. Gecko's stuff. And let's enter this Cairo market. Let's see what we can discover in here. And we already see, okay, we have an exotic pet um, trader over here, as well as a little viewing window. Okay, can we see anything? No, but this we now see this is a habitat. But if you look around, yeah, we have a lot of stuff over here. Um, we have the metal works over here with all these brass works and lamps and golden camels, stuff like that. And we have this little tunnel over here. And if you press play, I hope it works. Um, he plans it out. We should see, yeah, there we go. We should see a lemur running by from re left to right through this tunnel. Um, yeah, into the exotic pet store basically and this connects uh, to the islands that you already saw kind of in the background which are lemur islands for the ring-tailed lemur and the black and white rough lemur um, so this is a whole system of tunnels and gangways that connects this part over here and another part over there with these islands so let's move on yeah as I said if you just have seen uh, one or two scenes from <laughs> there you can see a lemur um from your yeah, scenes from uh, a movie set in in the middle east in north africa or something like that, that you right feel at home with all this junk and all this stuff flying around we have some seafood here and some fresh fruits and we have another little, little bit sneak peek into the lemur backstage over here uh, he really really did a great job of using these windows and doors as viewing areas and yeah you really feel the narrow is you feel, feel in, in a tight and narrow street um it really feels as, as if people would live here i don't know what this was <laughs> and we actually have another animal here i think we has he um added five different animals to this tiny area it's really not big but he really did a great job of integrating them and here we have the scarabus beetle i think it is yeah there they are really tiny um <laughs> living on the on the dung over here but you can also look into that backstage that we saw from over here and i have no idea where i am now um i'm on the roof apparently that happens in every of my videos um yeah you see this backstage over here and you can f look f through that exhibit into the backstage, which I think is a brilliant idea. So really a lot of great ideas in this area. Yeah, we have some carpets here. We have here the Zahara Grill, but we will not enter that. We will see that later. Um, we, then we have, what is this? The Death Adder, I think, or what is this called? The uh, Puff Adder. Yeah, another snake from Africa and the Middle East and Asia. Um, really cool, also with these yeah, kind of windows uh, in to the brick foundation into the stones you can see that it looks like a back room or stuff like that or an inner yeah, courtyard where you have these snakes there they are really cool and if we go further we have of course we have some we have a carpet shop over here here we have some spices of course we need these on an oriental market and then we have our the staff also which you already got teased with the statue we have the fennec fox over here and he promised they can use everything in this exhibit. They can go through that if they well, will do that. No, they won't. Um, but this is basically that, uh, connected to that backstage over here. Um, so they can go in there and use that. And yeah, really cool. Here's this courtyard with the netting over it where the fo Fennec Fox resides. Um, we have, oh, we have a very secretive keep out uh, door over here. But they also can go under here and I, I i tested this they fit under here uh, surprisingly um this works for them they can sleep here they can uh have some nice uh time over here uh really cool he really really used the hitboxes to to his advantage also another little vi vi viewing video over here with some nice earthware S really really cool let's enter this for a real moment for a quick moment so we can see um yeah, really nice these different layers that we have here so you also you can see them even if they are behind and yeah see here <laughs> they can go in there uh, you can see them even if they are further back because it is elevated 
so you see everything really really amazing i'm on the roof again and but yeah this is the whole st structure um from above basically yeah so let's go further because we have one more animal to look at one more in-game animal and that is the desert horned viper which was an animal from the area page this was the exhibit animal i didn't build for it i said he could build for them um because i didn't really have an idea but he clearly had with this broken wall and all the brick coming down and yeah you can see in inside this maybe it's a room maybe it's just a, a, a space in between the rooms and we also have another viewing opportunity over here if one of the desert vipers is in its burrow you can see it over here which is super clever to use that that way and you really don't feel like they are four by four meters wide you really made these spaces feel small and tight and they are fitting for these smaller animals of course we have some toilets over here with some uh, little secrets <laughs> which are like a, a little bit of a running gag we have a wombat over here it's a running gag from one of our discord communities um and yeah i i can't really explain it <laughs> but yeah um over the side we have uh, my exhibit for the somali wild ass and i think the thompson gazelle yeah the thompson gazelle it was so th this connects over here um and yeah, this is the other side. If you come from this side, this is the exit way, basically, with this nice archway with the plants growing into it, which I really like that he has the way he did that. And then we end this with a little aviary where we have some horn bulls and some other African birds. I added the birds, he did the aviary, and yeah, also with that. It's, it's an aviary, but still, he did an amazing job with that. Um, all the different plants, we have a plant uh, water basin over here, we have all the trees and the netting is phenomenal, he really nails the netting I have to say. And yeah, now you see why he basically forced me to um, do more in the zoo, because this isn't over yet, there's pathway over here, but here is everything is empty. And that's where he said, yeah, um, you have to fill up this space. Because, of course, I can't leave that as empty. I could just add plants or a wall, but, I mean, I, I want to do something here. And we will add two more habitats, um, one for warthogs and one bigger savanna habitat um, that will feature a bunch of animals. And, and then I think we will can close up this corner over here and then we do the finishing works and then the zoo, all, whole zoo goes into the workshop. But, yeah, as I said, we are not done yet because, as we saw before, we have the Zahara grill over here really great great work with what he did with the um, with the missing letter over here like it was eroded it fell off it, um, it came down over the years and yeah as I said is not finished yet there is no interior over here all he did was adding the shop and this really really you have to say cool grill uh, I really have to see how he did that because it looks phenomenal but yeah he uh, asked me if I could finish this restaurant for him and I said, yeah, of course. And he also wanted an, an outdoor terrace with some uh, tables, some seating areas. And I said, okay, we will integrate that into the habitats um, outside here. So this is something on the list that I wasn't able to manage, of course, to do uh, before I recorded this episode. And yeah, um, if we follow this path with all these little yeah, houses, little doors, little archways and, and little buildings all integrated, um, it really gives, he also said that if you're looking from here, it looks like a big city. It looks like there's way more stuff behind it. He really played with the depth and with the different layers of buildings to create like this panorama of a big um, desert city, big Egyptian city here. Really cool. I I, I can't even imagine how he did that. I, I still, uh, yeah, finding new things uh, the more I look at it and the more I explore this area. But yeah, we have some little houses over here and we also have some doors over here, I think, which lead into the backstage of the Lemos on this side. And then we end up back at the Nile monitor on this side. But he also not, not only did the exterior work, he also did backstage work, which is incredible that he also managed to do that. And if we follow, I think, if we follow this path, we also get another... Just a quick look at the Nemo Island. I did not, nothing special here. I just added some climbing frames, some ropes, and uh, just some stuff for the lemurs to play around with. You can also quickly have a look at this old viewing area over here where we can get close to the lemurs over there. Um, so nothing special over there. Just did that, I think, in 10 to 20 minutes I finished that. But yeah, we are here for Gecko's work. And if we go this way, we get into the backstage area, I hope. 
yes, this is the backstage area where we have the cages for the lemurs. We have, I think, two cages or three cages over here. And he really did a lot of detail work also with them, with all the doors, with the sliding doors over here. This connects to these out to this outside tunnel that we saw in the beginning of this video, and this goes outside to these islands. And I also have another little cage over here if we have to separate them. But I think if we go to here, yeah, we get into the backstage of the Fennec Fox. Really, really, really cool and clever use of space. Really tight space over here, but you don't need, really need that much. There are small animals. You don't only need yeah, two cages to separate them. You need access doors for the area. And that is it, basically. So really nice use of backstage. Also really love how we did these doors. Um, re I, I will definitely try to use them also in some of my builds. Even that, yeah, a cable work for all the lighting and some skylights really nice and if you go for here i think we end up yeah in the backstage of the fennec fox that we saw from the outside that they can also use and you can also see the scarabaeus kiefer uh, there will be a beetle from over there so really cool um can i go through here yeah all the backstages are connected you also have the handles here to open the gate individual gates so he really, really, despite all the small space that he had left, he really thought about stuff like that. And yeah, um, that is his, I would say, Egyptian city, um, Arabian city, basically Arabian um, town square, city square, uh, shops um, district that he did for me in a lot of months. But I don't know how many of them that he actually built this and how much he just change things and tested things but he really did an awesome job I, I couldn't do that myself i'm honest this is a level of detail i would need weeks and months for um i wouldn't and even then it would look, not look as good as what he did here so um as i said down in the comments give him all the love he deserves he will watch this video i talked to him he will probably also be in the comments and you can give him all the praise and yeah all the love and applause applause is the word for it yeah that he needs because uh that he deserves and that he will yeah that he has to get because this is just amazing this is an incredible work um first time i had a guest builder in one of my yeah one of my zoos he also he also did some stuff for me over in raven creek some props that he made for me in the south american area but never re a real full build and i'm hope i hope i can get him to work for me so someone in the future but as for now i think he needs a break from that but yeah as i said next week we will be back in raven creek we will start on our very amazing and really cool uh, farm barnyard animal area over there and after that is done we go back to wajamila to finish the zoo up and then you can have the zoo for your own because I will upload to the workshop. But until then, I hope you had an amazing time with this little short showcase video. Um, I don't know where he's running. But yeah, I hope you had an amazing time. And I hope I see you in the next video. And until then, stay safe. Have a great time. And bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>